eight possible by three four three. Hey everybody, seven. what's going on? Nathan three four three here, and it's winter time, folks. And for you people out there that snow plow all the time, are gonna want a set of these. As you can see them in the thumbnail, they're very awesome. These are glow sticks, basically guide sticks, glow sticks. They're basically a guide stick with a light inside of them. We're gonna check them out, show you how to install them, show them how I'm gonna install them. I wanna give a big shout out to Josh uh, for sending this over uh, to, for me to, you know, advertise and no. I wanna give a big shout out to Josh for sending this over uh, for me to check out and to show you guys how awesome and how easy these things are to set up, wire up and hook up. All you're gonna need is some wire strippers probably, uh, some really good heat uh, connectors. These are the solder ones for different cables. You heat them up and the solder in there so it makes a good connection. Wireproof connector. Uh, depending on how your plow is, if your plow comes off from the truck but your pump and stuff stays on your truck, you're going to want one of these to unhook and plug in your guide sticks. If the, if the pump and plow are all together like the newer plows, then you can just leave it and you won't need this. Uh, and of course you're going to need what's in this box. Alright so guys, well for some reason my camera went into slow-mo mode and filmed this entire scene in slow-mo. So I have sped it up and just basically telling you that everything came well packaged inside the box. It came with a bubble wrap uh, down by the bottoms where all the cables and stuff are to keep it protected. It is like heat shrink kind of material at the bottom to help keep the cable in there and it's really tight, keeps everything in there really well. It looks really good. He, I, he did send me some extra cable uh, there to hook it up. Now I uh, Again, these are a stronger, heavier uh, stick than your regular ones you get offline. So definitely check them out. And uh, let's go get these things mounted. They're uh, very cool. Um, they're, you know, cabling's a good quality cable. Uh, it's not cheap stuff. You can tell it's, it's coated really well. And uh, I'm really excited to see these on my truck in this winter. So... Hopefully you guys stay tuned, and uh, let's go get these things installed. Who's ready? All right, guys, so we're here at the shop, and I'm on my phone because I forgot to bring my camera but uh, from home. But uh, So here's the old one. As you can see, they're pretty much the exact same thing. This one, however, is a little bit more rounder. It is a little bit thicker, and I like that. This one here is more flimsy. Let me get the uh, get these off, but I like the new one being thicker. I don't think it's gonna quite, so you're gonna use your old bolts. I went ahead and pulled the nuts off of them here. But I'll keep these so in case if I ever get wings or something, I might put, uh, put these on wings or something. So these are still good shape, I'll keep them. Uh, they are flimsy though. That's one thing I don't like is they're flimsy. And they're not quite as big. As big as you can see there. Just a skosh bit smaller than the, uh, the new ones. So. Alright guys. Go. Well I know my plow isn't the greatest plow. But you don't have to have the greatest plow to have the greatest coolest uh, sticks. <laughs> Again Josh. Um, I want to thank you for shipping these out to me. And, and, and letting me try these out. I've already hooked them up once. And just to make sure they work, I plugged them into a uh, battery, a lot more battery down here because it's, uh, I just got these a couple hours ago and I wanted to go ahead and get them on because I'm going to do all my wiring and buttoning up everything. Says, <laughs> he always says buttoning up, but uh, hey, that's another channel. If you guys want to go check out Mossman, go check him out. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've got, I think, how I'm going to run the wires. Uh, think it's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to run across here. This plow is going to be getting painted again next year. Um, I get, it gets painted every two years. As you can see, my painting last year or two years ago wasn't the greatest, but it's going to get sandblasted, get some of the rust off of it, and get really good and cleaned up and repainted professionally. So um, I'm going to go. I got a hole here, so I ran it down through here. Of course, I'm going to loom everything up. I got to go get some. Uh, I'm going to run it across here, down. Over here, it'll go down through, it'll go across to here, 
and then it'll go down. There's a little hole down here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to run it to the uh, center, to this pivot where it pivots side to side. Run it down the, the angle tube here. And then same thing with that side over there and around. And then it's going to come up, probably over here to this side. And then I'm going to run it up. And then it will go into the... Um, pump of the snowplow which I can show you that here in just a second so here's my setup now this is for my 99 Dodge Dakota yeah a lot of people are probably like you plow with a Dodge Dakota hey, yep sure do um, and it does great this is all custom made if you haven't done so uh, link right here you can go check out the uh, how I put this plow on the truck how I made it work but uh, it works great I plowed with this truck for six years and it's still going so um, but I have some wires here that are going to, uh, I'm going to probably pull some of this loom back here. There's a spot here I could pull it probably somewhere up in here because this part of the loom stays in my truck, on my, in my truck. It's I got a little place I kind of zip tie it in there during the summer. So I don't have to take my wiring up because this pump and plow and everything comes off the truck during the summer because I have a push bar I put on here. So this doesn't stay on here but during the winter. So I have to make mine removable with my uh, waterproof connector that I was showing you. Which is right here. Okay, so it's got a quick connector. I actually saw these off of Mossman, I do believe, and I ordered them. They're a very good connector. They got some deal and they're just bare on each end. So I'll plumb that in and then I can run it and kind of protect this. And then I can run it, probably the other cable up in there or something to where it, you know, works. Or maybe just zip tie it to the outside of it and loom it up together. And then I can just unplug it, pull the wire back, leave the one part on the plow during the summer, and leave the other part inside the hood next That's year. That's what just we're doing tomorrow. In. Well, now, the next clip will be tomorrow. And uh, I will go ahead and show you these while they're not on the truck. And I will show you to them tomorrow. I mean, even the daylight, these things are killer. Can you see me now? Those are bright and it's not even all the way dark out. Those are sick. Got to get two more shorter ones put on here for wings. I haven't really wings. filmed a whole lot because we've had to basically play with this uh, to kind of figure out which would be the better alternate route to run the um, wires. So, because we thought maybe we could run it down and then over and then down the frame, the A-frame. And then I was like, well, no. So, basically what we did is we got it here and I'm going to get it, cut a piece of loom and put around the top side here just a little bit. And, because um, it goes through a little hole to keep the wire. Goes through there. I might get another cable tie. We've got these little wire ties here. These are four inch ones. Uh, I'm going to come through and cut all these off. Probably put a little bit of JB weld around that to keep it from rusting, maybe, or spray paint it or something. Got one there, got one there, got one there. It runs down this uh, channel. This is angle iron that's been bent. And we got a little loop here in case something ever happens. Like it gets kind of frayed down here and the wire becomes exposed or ripped or something. I can cut it, give me a little slack, and fix it back up. From there it goes around to here and I haven't got this put in all the way with the, the holder because my battery on my drill went dead and then it goes down under and then it's going over here and we're going to probably put another cable tie somewhere here on the plow to hold it or not a cable tie but one of these little rubber cable lines which I got these at Harbor Freight for like five bucks for like 20 of them so Gonna run it through there, maybe even run it through the the handles here. And then we're coming up. Uh, there's our tester. Zach's gonna hook into the brown wire, and which he's cut. He's gonna hook that under the brown wire and the ground wire. And then it'll be running lights. I was gonna make them be running and turn signal, but why can't we do that, Zach? There's two wires, one light, 
and not three wires in one light. Yeah. So it would be cool if they could make these. And and Josh, if, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you are, um, maybe make a third wire on these to make these turn signals too. Um, I am going to be probably getting another set off of Josh. Uh, again, I want to thank Josh for sending these over to me to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to be getting wings built or bought for this. Um, this is a seven foot plow. It doesn't look like it on film here, but it's seven foot. Um, it was six and a half, but we added a little bit on there. Uh, when we redid it, which if you haven't watched the uh, video that shows how I made this plow and redid this plow, go check that out. Link in the description. Uh, but I'm going to get some custom wings, I think, made or something to go on the side. And I'm going to get some some smaller ones or maybe maybe the same size ones, maybe the 28 inch ones or something and put over there on the wings. And I think instead of making those running, I'm going to make those turn signals. So, But if Josh, if there'd be a way that you could make another wire to come out of these so these would run off running and turn signal i think that'd be cool these are we think these are what the like a lineman used to hold the what do you say like like when they're working with lines because this stuff is stiff this isn't flimsy stuff this is stiff stuff compared to let me get one of my other guide sticks here's the one that was on it as you can also see it's it's more in diameter this like i can bend this see how that's flopping this you can't bend <laughs> i honestly have a feeling if you hit a tree limb real super super hard or a telephone pole or a tree i have a feeling so. go snap. check out zach's channel he hasn't been super super active lately but he's been super super busy he has filmed quite a bit though we are going to um Hopefully, he said by January he was going to be hitting her hard again when he got some free time. So, look to 2023 to him to kick things back off. He's got a number of things he does with his entertainment stuff. And his videos are very entertaining. They're, they're really good to watch when you're eating cereal or donuts or coffee or flip the old TV on and watch them and eat. And, yeah, looks like he's going to go do some surgery. So, We'll be right back after we get uh, kind of figured out how we're going to do this and I'll show you how we did it so you might be able to do this on yours because again like Mossman's plow and pump and all that are intact with the plow so when he takes the lights off the plow and everything comes off. See mine hooks up down there and I have pins I take off and the chain and the hydraulic lines which I've got to get this one fixed back but um, yeah so makes it a little different i have to be able to unplug these lights um whenever i um take the plow off all right there they are all lit up they are super super bright especially in dark areas but i like them um i don't think these are illegal or anything um uh, you can like i said you can get them in different colors green i think white red possibly blue, maybe purple. Uh, uh, link in the description. Go check out all the links down there. Like I said, Josh, again, thank you for sending these over. I think they're wonderful. They're a great addition to any snow plow. Uh, so very easy to install. I did just wire them up to running. Uh, maybe in the future, if he makes something to where they'll run turn signal and uh, running lights then i'll uh, get a different one and use those for other ones or something but i think it'd be cool to have turn signals on them too but they work good how i end up running stuff basically came around come down come to the center i made a loop here for extra cable in case i need it down the road goes to the center here um to a wire hose goes into here i haven't got it all the this done but it's going to be uh underneath it's going to go underneath and be cable tied underneath there and then be cable tied up there. I'll show you where the wire connector is. We kind of run out of time. It's close to midnight right now, but we've been busy. And then it's got a uh, little connector here, waterproof connector. Everything's all tied up, wired up. I've got to loom that all up and tape that up some more. So, and then zip tie all my cables up, but pretty simple. Uh, it works good. I'll go ahead and lift the plow up just so you can see how it looks with the uh, plow up. 
So there's what it looks like without the headlights on. So if you're just running, no headlights during the day, they still look good even during the day. So again, thank you Josh for sending these over. Uh, check him out. These things are awesome. Different sizes, any size that you need, he can make. So if you need them super long, I think you can make them even super long. If you want them itty bitty, you can make them itty bitty. Uh, but very simple, very durable, very, very awesome lights for any plow. Uh, you could probably use these for uh, construction equipment, um, maybe even tillage equipment, you know, for running down the roads, gives you guys kind of a, you know, uh, maybe to put them on the edge of your tillage equipment. That might be a good idea. So, yeah, check them out, guys. Link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for an awesome, awesome year. This has been great. We're winding down 2022. Thank everyone for checking this one out. Thank you so much, Josh. I appreciate it. Thanks, Zach. Go check his channel out. Link in the description. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. God bless. Right